were a bunch of friends, all of you graduated from college, one of your friends couldn't graduate. One of your friends had financial difficulty, or his parents' business failed or whatever, he dropped out of school, worked at, uh, worked at the gas station. The rest of you graduated. The rest of you are hanging out and talking about what jobs you're doing, and you keep reminding him of how he's the dropout. This is la yaskhar qawmu min qawmin. Even him standing at that gas station, even him pumping that gas is actually something noble and dignified by Allah. This notion that for some reason, because you have a better job than somebody else, and by the way, we don't just do this among strangers, we do this within our families. There's a young man that says, I don't, I don't want to be a doctor, I want to be a pharmacist. And his family's like, you're a loser. You know, you, you could have been something. You're just going to be a pharmacist? Yeah, it's better hours, I get to do other things that I meant to do with my life, I don't know if I want to spend another five years or six years continuing this education, etc, etc. So I've decided I want to be a pharmacist. Oh, worse yet, that's suicide for many parents. A son or daughter decides to become a nurse. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. This is why you studied biology, to become a nurse? You know? Even worse, some of these young people decide they're going to study history, and then their parents are yelling at them, what, are you gonna, what job are you going to get studying history? Well, I love history and I think it's important to learn and I think I'm going to teach afterwards. I want, you want to be a teacher? Get a real job. A teacher? People who can't do, teach. <laughs> you know? Go, at least go to law school and become a lawyer or something. Why can't you get a real job? Or worse yet, if a young man or woman decides they're going to study psychology or go into counseling because they feel the Muslim community needs a lot of counselors. Our women need counsel, our parents need counsel, our teenagers need counsel, our young children need counsel. And we don't have anybody to get counsel from. We have to end up in the, in the, in the care of non-Muslims because we don't have enough professionals in this space. So somebody decides to go into counseling and everybody else makes fun of this one that decided to do a major in counseling. <laughs> You know, because what are you going to do with that? How do you get a career out of that? Making people feel inferior for the work that Allah gave them talent in. That the work Allah inspired them to do. I'm not saying you shouldn't aspire for better and better careers. But don't make people, inferior, feel pe people feel inferior for the work that they do. There are some young men in the audience today that are no good at college. They're just not. No matter how much you try to make them study, they cannot. But they're really good at fixing cars. They just made natural, natural born mechanics. He could be the best mechanic in the nation. I don't make him feel horrible because he didn't finish his degree, because he couldn't, he tried, he couldn't do it. But when he put his hand in this work, he was excellent at it. And now he's gonna run three, four, five garages of his own. And then he's gonna hire the accountant that graduated from one of the schools he failed out of. That's what's gonna happen. And there are people like that. Not everybody has to take the same path. We feel like the, the pathways that society has delineated for us, they are the only way to get respect in society. If you get a degree from a college, then you get disrespect. If you have a job at an office, then you get respect. If you do this, this and this, then you get respect. But if you're a farmer, you get no respect. If you're a taxi driver, you get no respect. If you're a mechanic, you get no respect. If you work at a store, you get no respect. Who decided this? Did Allah and His Messenger give us this standard? There's a reason we stand in one row. We don't check what your job is first. We don't check how much you make first before you stand in a row in salah. Inna akramakum indallahi atqakum. The most noble among you are the ones that are closest to Allah, the ones that are most cautious of Allah. Allah says, Tilka darul akhirah, naj'aluha lilladhina la yuriduna uluwan fil ardi wa la fasadan. That final home, meaning Jannah, we have reserved it, Allah says. We have reserved it for people who don't want to gain a superiority in this earth. They don't want to feel superior to others in this life. They don't want to make other people feel inferior in this life. That is not what their life is about. لا يريدون علوًا في الأرض And by the way, when you create a culture and a society in which some people feel inferior, some people are made to feel superior, and this culture perpetuates, you know what happens? Then everybody at the bottom is always trying to be like everybody at the top. You have people that are not making any money, they're poor, they're living in subpar housing or whatever, and their dreams of living in a mansion, and you know, the, the kind of car, and the kind of fancy ride or whatever, this is facade. That class society that's created, where one group is constantly vying for the dignity of another group, 
That is fasad. That is exactly what happened in the case of Qarun. That's why this ayah comes at the end of the story of Qarun. When Qarun had all of his wealth and everybody else in the Israelite community was poor, they said, Ya layta lana mithla ma utiya Qarun. If only we had what Qarun has, we'd be doing great. If I had what he had, man, so sweet. I wish what he had. I wish I had what he had. This is, this is corruption at its core. This is corruption inside of the hearts. And it makes people want to earn money by any means possible. Then they no longer care about what's halal and what's haram. Then they just say, so long as it's a good job, I'll do it. So long as it makes good money, I'll do it. The, the distinction about the, the, the good earning, the halal earning, the, the, the legitimate earning with the work of your own hand goes away.